What's happening guys, this is Mark Kuzmitz. If you don't know me, I was the same person from the other Symbiote video. Just recently, Frontline Design have released a photo of Venom from Spider-Man 3, and also two Sandman photos with its weapons. As we go for a near UK release for The Amazing Spider-Man 2, I think it's the right time to spill the news. As you can see here, this is the test costume for Venom for Spider-Man 3. In my opinion, it still looks disappointing, but they did do hard work to bring Venom to life. Let's do a breakdown, shall we? Now, this is supposed to be an animatronic puppet for Venom. To be honest, I think the puppet version of Venom was unnecessary, but if it was for the huge mouth, you know, to make him talk, then I would say I'm okay with it. The symbol looks the same from the final film and the webbing is still there, as well as the honeycomb pattern. But what is different is the eyes. Now the eyes look pretty much the same as Spider-Man's, but they're a lot different. As you can see here, the eyes are bigger and the mouth is also different. As you can see here, the mouth it looks a bit humanoid and uh, the eyes are a bit shiny, which I don't like it. I prefer to I prefer a little bit different than that. The mouth looks real but small. There's also a photo of the set of teeth that Topher Grace had to wear in the movie. What's really fascinating is that the type of venom looks a lot similar to the venom that was used in the deleted scene of the film. What's happening to you? I don't know. Ooh. Now for my thoughts, I think the costume looks a bit disappointing. Even though the movie wasn't written properly, he still looked cool and we wanted to see more of Venom. If I was the costume designer, I would have removed the webbing but keep the patterns. I could have made the eyes look a bit menacing just like from the comics and the mouth could have been animatronic. Well, to make the mouth a lot more bigger and as well as the unmasking of Venom. As you may have known, I said that the in the previous video that the unused suit looks like from a porno. I'm not sure why would they think like that, but I'm pretty sure they thought about that because they thought that Spider-Man without the webbing would mean a naked Spider-Man. <laughs> Which I think it's it looks ridiculous. But let's say what if this costume would have been used in the film? Well, I'm not talking about the Spider-Man, the unused symbiote Spider-Man, he would have looked cool, but what about, let's talk about Venom. Would you think that it would have made a difference if this type of Venom, the, the unused animatronic puppet Venom, would have been better? I don't think so, because I don't think it would be the same as the Venom we all know and love, but if it was supposed to be the Venom as used in the deleted scene, I would be happy. If I would prefer the Venom in the movie or the Venom in the picture, I would go for the movie. It's probably because the eyes look menacing and the mouth moves more alienated rather than human. You know, if they should use as an animatronic Venom, they should probably use as the mouth of Venom, you know, just to just to unmask the Venom and reveal as Eddie Brock, just like in the comics and also in the video games and in the cartoons, to make it a bit more accurate. I like the idea of Venom looking like this and used as an animatronic, but I don't think it would work, mainly because it would be complicated to use it. Now, with symbiote Eddie Brock and Cletus Cassidy existing in the Amazing Spider-Man universe and the spin-off film being released in the future, would they go for the one in the picture or they should probably do the CGI version of Venom? Personally, I think they should go with CGI, as we know that the practical costume has been dealt already. They should have a huge Venom as the one in the Ultimate Comics, but the way he has conversations and the way he talks is by... like the one in the 616 universe. Then we might have a terrifying Venom and the type of Venom that fans would love him. Seeing as The Amazing Spider-Man 2 will kick ass, I think Sony has learned their lesson on handling proper villains, especially Venom. I just really hope that the Venom we're gonna have soon will be a fantastic character in the spin-off film and well written. Tell me guys, what do you think of the test costume for Venom? Do you like it or do you bash it? Let me know what you guys think and I'm out for now.